Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we are going to install Robot Operating System, also called ROS, on the NVIDIA Jetson TX development kit. Let's get started. With the release of L4T 28.2, we have updated the ROS install scripts. We are working today on board a Jetson TX2. It has just been flashed with 28.2 using Jetpack 3.2. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named install ROS TX2. We are going to clone that repository. Let's grab that address. Switch over to that repository's directory. There are two scripts here. One is called install ROS and the other is called setup Catkin workspace. Install ROS does the brunt of the work. Let's take a look at its options. If we just run install ROS, it will install ROS Kinetic ROS Base as our default base package. We also have the option to install our own base package of our selection. In this case, let's install ROS Kinetic Desktop. Minus P, package name. And we could add whatever other packages we'd like to install at this time also. We just would add minus P and then the name of the package. Installation complete. Now we're ready to set up our Catkin workspace. Let's clear this. We have the option of naming the workspace. We would basically put whatever directory path that we want in here. It will default to Catkin underscore WS. So let's just do that. The script attempts to set up the ROS master URI and ROS IP. Let's take a look at that. It's in .bash RC in the home directory. We wanted to set it to 10.0.1.13. You'll probably have to come in and edit this to your liking. Let me close that up. Let's source that again. Now let's switch over to our Catkin workspace. And let's attempt to run ROS Core. So that looks like it started okay. So we can see our ROS server is up and running. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.